Hello friends, and welcome to today's episode of Baking with Faith. I have been left to my own devices by my boyfriend and our roommate. They are all going to a friend's house to do a little boys gaming night. So I'm home alone, and to enjoy my time in my lonesome, I am going to be baking some banana bread and watching Harry Potter and reading Harry Potter, taking a bath, and who knows, maybe I'll knit a sweater or something. No, but for real, it's gonna be a really chill, very relaxing night. As much as I love my boyfriend and love being with him all the time, I am going to enjoy my time in the house alone. I will also probably be terrified when it comes time to actually go to sleep, but that is beside the point. I've made this recipe twice now of banana bread. The first time it was good, but the second time it was really good. So I'm hoping whatever I did the second time I can do again. So anyway, that's what's gonna happen now. And I'll just do a little reading update really quick. I am in the middle of the fourth, no, fifth. I'm in the middle of the fifth Harry Potter still because it's a very large book but i think i have about like 350 pages left or so i i'm really enjoying these like last couple books well the fourth and the fifth book i'm really enjoying these ones and i'm really looking forward to the sixth and the seventh books because they don't follow the movie quite as on point so it almost feels like i'm reading like an entirely new story just with like the same world and characters and i kind of know like the majority, like the big details of what's gonna happen, but it's kind of fun seeing like the little stuff that you don't really see in the movies. And then I'm also listening. I actually started listening to The Fifth Wave. I was listening to The Thursday Murder Club and I'm probably still gonna listen to that after The Fifth Wave, but I just, I was getting really confused in the audiobook of The Thursday Murder Club and I felt like I just needed to actually like read it and listen to it at the same time instead of just listening to it so I could like follow along better. Um, but yeah, so The Fifth Wave, I just recently started like yesterday and I'm about 14% of the way through that one. And I don't know, like I like it, but at the same time, it's a little bit intense for me right now. Not in the not in the way of like, it's just a lot to handle. It's more just like, like they're talking about like a disease that was like the third or fourth wave that like wiped out humanity. And it's pretty brutal. Like they're talking about like bleeding out the eyeballs and like all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, I already had a stressful week. Like I don't want to think about bleeding eyeballs and other orifices that I, yeah, I just don't, I don't want to deal with that right now. So, um, I don't know. I'm being really picky about the content that I'm ingesting because I just don't feel like my brain is at a super healthy spot right now and I just need something a little more cozy and happy but loving Harry Potter so far so that's fun hopefully maybe I'll finish it in this vlog probably not because it is a very long book like I said but since I am about halfway through hopefully I can just finish it especially since I do have some alone time to kill so I don't know we'll see I'm gonna go bake my banana bread and then get back to you soon the banana bread is in the oven and I am going to go read now until this is done because it takes like pretty much an hour to get baked up. I'll share the recipe that I use in the uh, description below, but I will say I do use um, coconut oil instead of butter and I use honey for the sweetener. So. It's technically sugar-free. It is, I think it's technically, no, it's not vegan because there's two eggs in it, but you could substitute the eggs for flax eggs. You can make flax, flax eggs out of flax meal, I think, or ground flax. But anyway, yeah, so the banana bread's in. Like I said, I'm gonna go read and chill out. Okay, here's the deal. I love Hagrid. He is like one of my favorite characters of all time. Love him but I cannot read his conversations. Like my brain, when I'm trying to read this, I'm like, what is going on? Of course this lot don't get a lot of work. It's mainly just pulling the school carriages unless Dumbledore's taken a long journey and Don want her apparate. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> what is, what? 
Like, when he talks, like, in the movie, like, that's how it sounds. So, I, like, I get it. But also, I think that maybe, maybe we could have written this a little bit more English. <laughs> like, easier to read. Because every single time he's talking, I feel like I read so slow. Because I just don't, like, the words are just not there. And they don't work in my brain. <laughs> anyway, if anybody's read the Harry Potter books like on Kindle, have you noticed that like the Kindle pages and the actual book pages are like very different? Like on here, I'm on page 209, but I'm 50% of the way through the book. But if you get the book, where I'm at in the book is page like 442 or something. I just think that's funny and I don't really understand it, but whatever. But anyway, I've been like marking where I'm at in the book so that way I can like physically see how much I have left. But I also didn't realize that in the physical Harry Potter books, or at least like these versions, the words are so small. And that makes me even more intimidated because not only is it a very large book, but it has small font. So it's like, it's actually longer than you think it is because if the font was like a normal size, it would add another like, hundred pages, you know? I don't know, but I've been trying to mark like every 50 pages or so. Why is it not focusing? There we go. I've been trying to mark like every 50 pages with those purple marks so that way I know how much I need to read like each night. But like I said before, hopefully I'm just gonna be able to read at least like 200 pages this weekend because I want to be freaking done with this book so I can start reading something else. But loving it, of course. That is much better. Sometimes I don't realize how like bright and blown out I am until I go back and I edit my video and I'm like, ew, that's bad. Anyway, so last night I got to page 543 or chapter 25 in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Um, I just have to say, I freaking hate Umbridge. She, oh, really irritates me. But loving this book, I definitely still agree with my previous statement about how I just think that books that are over like 600 pages just do not need to be that long. <laughs> Cause this book, like I'm loving all the details and stuff because it's cozy and it's fun, but it makes like reading it a, a little bit harder for me. Cause I'm like, okay, I don't need to know like every single detail, every single conversation, like let's move on. Um, with where I'm at, let me see, 678. So I have about 300 pages left. I mean, which is pretty much like an entire book. So it's probably gonna take me the majority of the day today if I wanted to finish it. I don't think I'm going to finish it today because me and Danny have plans to go to Art in the Park, which I'm really excited for. And then we also have a dinner slash, I don't know, hangout tonight with his uh, mom at his mom's house because we're watching football game and UFC fights. So we have kind of a busy day, so I don't have like a whole lot of time to read but I am going to use whatever time I do have to continue to read this because I actually got super invested in it last night and I didn't really want to put it down. Like I wanted to keep reading later in the night, but I was getting really tired and I've been trying to do this crazy thing where I actually listen to my body and go to bed on time. So yeah, that's kind of the plan for today. This banana bread is so good. I put for breakfast, I put a little bit of almond milk on top of it and maple syrup. And it just made it like really not soggy, but it was just a very like spongy. It was just really good. I love banana bread. My weakness is definitely banana bread. Hello friends. I'm really, really bad at vlogging, but I'm not even sorry because I've been enjoying these last like couple days. And I just feel like sometimes I put a lot of pressure on myself to like vlog everything. And I just forget to kind of just like stop and enjoy the moments that I'm in. So uh, 
yeah, the last time I updated you guys, I think it was like yesterday morning. And then the rest of that day, we just ended up kind of going to like Danny's mom's house and we were watching the football game and the UFC fights and that was really fun. So I didn't do like a whole lot of reading yesterday, but I did get to page 574, 575 in um, The Order of the Phoenix. And I feel like it's starting to get very intense. Like it's not like super intense, but like things are starting to definitely pick up which is nice because it felt like pretty slow there for a second. But like I was saying before, yes, it's slow, but it's still like very vibey. So it's still fun. But now he's like having those visions or like dreams that are really happening. So he's practicing occlumency with Snape, which is very interesting to kind of see. But this morning, me and Danny went on a little like nature walk and then we stopped at a coffee shop and i got an english muffin which is so good and then i came home and i made a smoothie this has so much stuff in it it's strawberry banana cherry apple juice but then it has like flax ground flax seed hemp hearts chia seeds collagen ashwagandha i don't know it's got a lot of stuff in it so it's really good for my brain and for my body i still have quite a ways to go like i still have just just about 300 pages or just under 300 pages so it's literally like reading an entire book so it's probably gonna take me a couple of days to do that i'm thinking of maybe starting another book though like in between because like i i don't want to start another book while i'm in the middle of this one but it's also like this one's gonna take me longer to read and i don't want to miss out on like the other books that i wanted to read this month just because this one's taking me longer so i'm kind of maybe going to see if i can start another book that i've been really wanting to read this month i don't know we'll see but it is sunday so for the rest of the day we're just kind of hanging out and enjoying the day off before we have to go back to work on monday today i'm also going to go through like my closet and some of my stuff i do this like every week i swear but i just saw this like challenge on social media where it's like it's called the 333 challenge or something but it's where for three months you only go through and wear like 33 pieces in your closet so i'm gonna try and do that but that whole video is gonna be on my vlog channel so stay tuned but anyway i'm gonna continue reading this guy for now and then maybe later today i will pick up another one or i'll just try and finish this one in the next couple days i ended up doing some more baking because i literally could not contain myself and i found these really good um pumpkin spice cookies that are from this brand i think it's called sweet lorenz or Lauren's, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. So I made these and they're gluten-free, vegan, and nut-free, I think. They're like free of a bunch of things. So they're relatively healthy, I guess I would say, for a cookie. And then I just made some like cream cheese frosting, which I guess doesn't make it vegan anymore, but I mean, it's optional to add that if you want. I just personally like a little bit of like cream cheese frosting on my cookies so i thought it was really really good especially with pumpkin and then i ended up getting um quite a bit of a ways through harry potter i don't know if you can see that but that's where i'm at now i got to page 703 which is chapter 31 i found myself honestly kind of skipping over quite a bit because there just gets to a point especially like when you've already read 600 something pages and then they just like go into detail about things that just don't really matter that much you just kind of start to like skim. So that's what I started to do for a couple pages here and there. But I know last time I said that is when things kind of started picking up and now they're like really starting to pick up. Like things are really starting to kind of go down. They're just about to take their OWLs, I think, because this next chapter, chapter 31, is called OWLs. So I'm pretty sure this is where they take their tests. But Harry still hasn't gone back to Occlumency since his little encounter with Snape. So I'm very interested to see kind of what happens during that. I don't know, since I've seen the movies, I know like the main plot points of like what's gonna happen. But I, like I said before, I do really, really enjoy the difference between the books and the movies. This one just has a lot more detail and a lot different details of things. So it's really fun and I'm really enjoying myself. 
I ended up um, not picking up another book because I literally just wanted to get through this and finish this and then pick something else up. But I did also start listening to Percy Jackson on audiobook, which I'm really excited about because I've been wanting to read that one for the last like month or two. But since I'm reading a physical book, I try not to read like two physical books if I don't have to, like if I can read one physical book and then like be listening to a different book, cause I listen to audiobooks like on my way to and from work and I don't know, like grocery shopping and whatnot. And I didn't have the audiobook of this one. So I started Percy Jackson. I'm not uh, super far into that one. I think I only got like maybe an hour in. I got 10% of the way in to Percy Jackson, the first one. So far, I like it. I, okay, so I watched the movie, um, I don't know, like a couple years ago. And I mean, I don't love the fact that in the book, he's only in sixth grade. And I think in the movie, I wanna say he's like in high school, like a freshman in high school or something. But I think, I know it's technically a middle grade to young adult like series, but I don't know. I just think that they could have made him a little bit older. <laughs> but either way, I still, I'm liking that one so far. Today I am doing some work from home. So I'm hopefully after I do like my work stuff, I'm going to finish Harry Potter. And then I also need to take some clothes to the thrift store to like sell them. And I also went there yesterday and I got this cute sweater thing. And I'm very excited about it because it's very soft. And I've been kind of like I said before, going through my closet and trying to really condense, is that the right word? My collection of clothing, so to say. And I'm really just trying to get rid of a lot of the things that I don't really wear and get stuff that I will wear more often. So I always have this weird thing with clothes. Like I never want to spend a lot of money on them, which I think is the epitome of consumerism is we buy a lot of things that are kind of cheap and then we end up buying more things because those things don't last or they're just like trends or I don't know, whatever. So I'm really working on my capsule closet and it's been an interesting journey for sure because I, with my ADHD and just with my personality, I have a really, really hard time letting go of things and like getting rid of things. So this has been a very humbling experience. But anyway, back to the point. Yeah, I'm gonna finish um, Harry Potter today, hopefully and then go through my closet and whatnot and hopefully put my fall wardrobe together. Hello, beautiful friends. So I finally finished Harry Potter and Percy Jackson. Oh, this book took me literally so long to finish, but I finally did it. Very, very proud of myself. Um, Ending thoughts. I mean, like I keep saying, it did follow the movie with like the main plot point, so I already kind of knew it was gonna happen. It was still, pretty exciting. It was still quite a bit different. Like when they were fighting like the Death Eaters and stuff towards the end of the book, when they were in the Ministry of Magic? Is that what it's called? The Ministry? Yeah, when they were in like the Ministry of Mysteries, I think is what the actual department is called. So that was pretty interesting. It was nice to learn like the reason that Harry and Voldemort are like connected because I mean like I kind of understood it in the movies and stuff but I never fully understood like the extent of their connection. So that was kind of cool to learn about. Overall, I think these books are way too big. <laughs> I mean, I think that this book definitely could have been done in like 600 pages, but maybe like 650 but that's just me. If you like really long books, then this would be perfect for you if you haven't read it already. But for me, a person who does not like very long books, I just, I think there's a little bit too much detail and not enough like super exciting stuff. It's more just like the vibes, which again, if that's your cup of tea, then go ahead and drink it. But it's not my cup of tea. So that's Harry Potter. I think like in all, it's gonna be like a four star series just because of the length and just the excess detail that I feel like doesn't really need to be in there sometimes. So, and then I read 
Percy Jackson. I mostly listen to this on audiobook, but I I can't rate this because it's a middle grade book and since I'm not the intended audience for it, I just don't feel like I can like actually rate it like fairly. To be honest, I didn't really like this one very much. It was like fun and adventurous and I still liked it, but it wasn't as exciting as I thought it was going to be and I found a lot of the the conversations a little bit like unrealistic but since it is a middle grade book like the conversations are going to be very like juvenile even if they are with adults so again that's kind of where I just have to put in the fact that I am not the intended audience so of course it's going to be like that like I said I still agree with my previous statement I wish they would have made him a little bit older because even though it's in middle grade I feel like they could have still made him a little bit older I don't know because I feel like if he was like 13 14 then it would have been more of a young adult so I don't know I just I don't like book series like I like it but I don't like it where the book series like starts off as middle grade and then it goes into young adults like with harry potter and with percy jackson they both start at extremely young ages and then like by the end of the book there are like young adults and it just like kind of hurts my brain because the first couple books i don't super enjoy because they're middle grade but then the last couple books i do enjoy so i'm just like really confused about how i feel about the series as a whole but then again it's kind of fun to like grow up with them and like watch them from like each season of their life and stuff and had i have read these when i was a kid i probably would have read them more as they came out so it would have been like me growing up with them which would have made more sense but i'm reading them as an adult so it's not the same anyway now that that is is done. I also went to Trader Joe's as one does in the fall and I got these ah, I got these fall candles because I've been really needing some more candles lately and I was like oh my gosh I bet you anything Trader Joe's has their fall ones out. So I got a harvest apple and a vanilla pumpkin. These smell so good. Harvest apple or like anything apple is like one of my favorite scents for fall. I just like having like a fresh crispy one and like a warm cozy one. So this was a perfect mixture. It is actually fall weather kind of now where I'm at, which started literally today because the last couple days it's been, or honestly the last couple weeks, it's been still in like the high 80s and even some 90s. But today, like this morning, I went on a little like nature walk and it was like 50 degrees or like 48 degrees or something. It was chilly and I was wearing my beanie and I was wearing my jacket and I was wearing my boots and it felt so good. Right now, I don't know what I want to read next. I'm kind of in like a nonfiction mood. I've just been in like a big educational mood. So I picked up this book, it's called Gut. <laughs> The Inside Story of Our Body's Most Underrated Organ. As you all probably know from my previous videos and my Instagram stories and talking about all the time, I have lots of tummy issues and gut issues. So I just, I think it's really fun and beneficial to like actually learn about the things that you struggle with and not just like go to the doctors or like go, I mean, please go to the doctor if you're struggling with something, but I think that actually educating yourself with what's going on in your body, you're a little less reliant on other people like telling you about your body. Cause like with this, for me, like since I have gone to so many doctors already, I know quite a bit from like a doctor's point of view. But when I start to learn about the things that are going into my body, it can help me on a more day-to-day -day basis because I can like understand more of like how things are functioning and like if something is a little bit off, I don't have to like call my doctor as much and ask like, is this normal? What is this? Like, why is this working this way? Cause I can just kind of like learn about it as I go. I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to work on being more self-dependent and self-sufficient when it comes to like my healthcare and stuff because let me tell you a lot of the times that I've gone to the doctor I probably could have just learned what they told me on Google <laughs> like that sounds really dumb but it's true like sometimes doctors don't really help that much they just tell you to go home drink some water and like take an Advil or something and yeah so anyway I'm reading um this one for now and then I'm kind of in between audiobooks. I just, I'm being very indecisive and I don't know what I want yet. So, but that's my little update for what's happening right now. 
I'm probably gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for being here and sticking around and loving on me and just supporting me through all this crazy stuff and just through my YouTube journey in general. I love you guys so, so much. And I can't even tell you how much I appreciate each and every single one of you. Like I've been saying, I have been more inconsistent on here because I'm just really focusing on like what my body needs right now. And I am just needing a little bit less on my plate. So I'm just taking some time and I'm doing more, I guess I'm trying to do more quality videos over quantity videos. So if I put one out like every other week, if I put one out twice a week, you know, like it's just, it's just like what I feel. I don't wanna be that person who just like puts out a bunch of videos, just to like put out a bunch of videos. Like I want what I do to matter and I want what I do to be enjoyable for you guys. Anyway, that's where I'm at. But I love you guys so much and thank you for being here and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.